ഹായ് ഗൈസ് വെൽക്കം ബാക്ക് ടു കോഡ് സ്വിച്ച് യു മൈ ഹാവ് ഹെഡ് അബൌട്ട് കോൺസ്റ്റന്റ് റീഡ് ഓൺലി കേവേഡ്സ് ഇൻ സി ഷാർ ലെറ്റ് സി വാട്ട്സ് ദി ഡിഫറൻസ് ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ദർ ആർ ടു വേസ് യു ക്യാൻ ഡിഫൈൻ കോൺസ്റ്റൻസ് ഇൻ സി ഷാർ വൺ യു ക്യാൻ യൂസ് ദ കോൺസ് കീവേഡ് ദ അതർ വൺ യു ക്യാൻ യൂസ് ദ റീഡ് ഓൺലി കീവേഡ് നൗ കോൺസ് കീവേഡ് ഇസ് എ കമ്പൽ ടൈം കോൺസ്റ്റന്റ് that means you write the program and the compiler converts your program into il code that is the intermediate language code but when the compiler converts into il code it actually directly contains the constant you have defined so that means that will never ever change all right so this is called the constant now if you use a read only the change is you will write the program but you do not need to initialize it directly you have two options you can either initialize it when you declare the read only variable or you can initialize it in the constructor of that class in the static constructor of that, of that class so that means the read only can help you with error messages like if you try to initialize it in somewhere outside the declaration or the constructor you will get an error so let's quickly see how these two are different okay so let's look at this program here i have a radius 10 and i'm printing the radius over here but what i need to do is i need to find the area of a circle with radius 10 so what i can do i can define the area formula so area in order to find the area of a circle the formula is pi times r times r that is pi r square but how we need to define this in a statement so for that what we need to do is we need to define the pi r we already have r is 10 so pi let's define it pi so as normal case i use create a double variable pi 3.141 is the constant pi then i create a variable to store the area so that is a double variable double area equal to pi times r times r so this is pi r square right now once i have the area i'm printing the area over here that is area right now you got the proper area now what's wrong with this code if you look at here we define the pi this is a never changing constant right pi will never change but if you have a lot of code if you have a lot of code or lot of people are working over here and in somewhere you didn't notice in somewhere you didn't notice if the pi value has been changed to something else like pi equal to 4 then you, then the entire answer has been lost right the entire answer got incorrect why this is happening because this is a normal variable it can be changed any time but it should not be right so that is in this case uh, what we do is we make this pi a constant so we add a const keyword and now this pi is unchangeable so now if you see this i got an error over here the left hand assignment must be a variable property or indexer because now it is a constant variable it's not a normal variable now that is why you are getting this error now let's see this what if if i didn't initialize this there you go you get another error and it says that the constant field value must be provided that means that if you declare a constant you need to provide the value immediately so in this case 3.141 i need to provide immediately so that i will get the proper result now there is another advantage of using const so if you change from the run mode to a more optimized c sharp form then you could see that this 3.14 is hard coded over here right or if you go to the intermediate language you go to the intermediate language that the compiler produces you could see that the 3.14 is actually emitted by the compiler so that means that this is much more efficient because you whatever you are putting on the const keyword is actually directly going through the il code so that is why this is a compiler mode now let's do, let's see how we need to use the read only so let's make it to the run variable let's create a static read only variable pi read only double pi and let's remove this okay now as you can see you got no errors right you guess you just get the answer zero why because read only 
there is no need that you need to initialize it on the, while you declare it you can initialize it two ways either you can initialize it during declaration that is you can put 3.141 on here and you will get the proper output if you do not want to declare like this during initialization then you can create a static constructor of that so let's create a static constructor the class name is program so create a program constructor okay. so this is the constructor of the class in the constructor of the class you can initialize it 3.141 if you do not want to initialize over here see there is no error we are getting right you didn't initialize this but instead you initialize in the constructor of the class and you get the proper result but what if if you try to initialize it somewhere else so if i initialize it over here you will get an error and the error say that the static read only field cannot be assigned except in a static constructor or a variable initializer that means the read only variable can only be initialized while you declare it over here or inside the constructor of the class so in other places you cannot do any change to that variable so this is the difference between constant read only